Naming and describing Zool is just the first stage of our research project on this remarkable specimen. Uh, the next phase of research is going to involve going back to the rocks uh, and studying the rocks where this skeleton was collected to learn about the environment that Zool lived in. But we're most excited about studying the remarkable preservation of the skin of this dinosaur. Seeing soft tissues like the keratin and the scales preserved is something we just don't see in very many dinosaurs. And we feel by studying the biogeochemistry of this specimen, we're going to learn a lot about the biology of ankylosaurs that we didn't know before. Some of the things that make ankylosaurs really unique are the presence of all of these really cool bony spikes and plates in their skin. These have a special name, they're called osteoderms, which means skin bone. That's because they form in the skin instead of wrapped up in muscles and guts like in our body. So we don't really have anything like osteoderms. Uh, and usually these fall away after an animal dies, uh, like an ankylosaur, because they're in the skin, the skin rots away. So something that's been really exciting about this fossil is that it actually preserves the osteoderms in place and it also preserves fossilized skin, which is very, very rare. So that's been an interesting challenge for me to be able to uh, see and describe and identify all of these structures that aren't usually preserved in ankylosaurs. So some great examples are these black, uh, this black material over top of the bony plate. Uh, this is the horny sheath that would have covered the osteoderm while it was alive, and these are the scales that would have covered the rest of the body as well. In, in contrast, the bones themselves are this really nice orangey-brown color. 